And hello everyone, this is Elliot Serrano and Jose Melendez coming to you from Dreamline Comics in Schaumburg, Illinois. This is the Comic Culture Warrior YouTube channel. And uh, this is where Jose and I talk about different things going on in the comic book industry, different titles that are coming out, different events, where we either talk you up or tear you down. So this is going to be kind of one of those tear you down kind of things for me. Because you, you, you think I'm kind of Pollyanna about stuff, and I'm, I'm never saying anything really bad about anyone. So, kind of, yeah. Yeah. So uh, I'm just going to, I'm going to do one of those basically totally irrational, irrational, totally unbased in fact rants, fanboy rants. Those are the best kind. Best kind. About this book right here, True Believers. Now, I'm going to admit it right now, and um, to... Um, Carrie Bates, holy shit, Carrie Bates. Carrie Bates is writing? Wow. I haven't read a Carrie Bates comic since Superman. This is the same Carrie Bates, you know? I am. Care. What? <laughs> With Paul DeLacy doing um, pencils and inks. Well, okay, so this book is called True Believers. I haven't read it. You know, I'm flipping through it right now. It's got some interesting artwork. Eh. Uh, I'll tell you right now what my problem with this book is. The title. Why do you think I have a problem with the title? Oh, I don't know. Something about, like, shilling out Stan Lee's most popular catchphrase, Next Excelsior. Next Excelsior. True Believers. First, you have an entire friggin' series of zombie books yeah. called Marvel Zombies, which um, I also don't like. Because, quite frankly, the idea of all the Marvel heroes turning into zombies is pretty, to me, a ludicrous and dumb idea. So you're not going to buy Marvel Zombies 3 when it comes out? No, yeah, I, have, I have not bought Marvel Zombies 1 nor 2. No, either are buy. Yeah. Nor did I buy um, Army of Darkness versus Marvel Zombies, even though I'm a huge Army of Darkness fan. I didn't buy that just on principle alone. But now you have True Believers... And uh, they're taking what to me was a, yeah, catchphrase, something that I grew up with, and they're basically, you know, slapping it on a comic book, completely changing what it means. So they're pretty much just sodomizing your childhood dreams? Yes, just like George Lucas has done, uh, raped my childhood. Marvel Comics is now strip mining my childhood. They're going back and they're taking every single little nugget of nostalgia and just slapping it on. And you know, I'm looking at this now, which I maybe this is uh, intentional, but uh, the True Believers logo looks kind of like a, a UPC code. Mm -hmm. So I mean, total consumerism going here. Mm -hmm. And this pisses me off to no end. It really pisses me off. Because they, they couldn't come up with another name for this. Couldn't they have left one little thing untouched? You know, Marvel Zombies. I've written about that. True Believers. They, didn't they want to do an Excelsior comics or Excelsior title and they couldn't do it? Or some, some issues with Stan Lee? Or wasn't that Stan Lee wanted to do an Excelsior imprint or an Excelsior site and Marvel wouldn't let him I do think it? it was, I think it was that way. I think it would be that way. But I mean, think about it. I mean, you had Marvel Zombies and then True Believers, and then you actually had Stan Lee in the actual comics. Remember, there was that mini series. Yep. You have Stan Lee in the Meets the Marvel Universe yeah, or something which, like that. I mean, Stan Lee is, is a cartoon character in and of himself, but actually having him in the comics, too, mm -hmm. it's kind of cool, but I don't know. I mean,. I think the guy deserves a little bit more respect than, oh, yeah. than that. But. Well, it's like when you take a skit from Saturday Night Live and you try to turn it into an entire movie. <laughs> you know, it's like it's funny for a while, but then, you know, when you when you try to stretch it out for so long, it's like enough already. Yeah, I'll agree with that. And, and it's like, I'm, I'm, I'm really, I, I'm getting tired of it because with all the, you know, respect I might have for Joe Quesada, and I'm saying that reluctantly because, you know, This sort of thing kind of cheeses me off, but it's like, can we come up with new ideas that we have to keep taking the past, and how about coming up with new catchphrases for crime and his sake? 
You know, how about for getting a new a new moniker for Marvel fans? So something that new. Take some sort of like creativity and, and some like thought, you know, to put into something like that. And I think Marvel, uh, you know, I've said this before, and I'm going to say it again. Marvel's fan base, I think, is the lowest common denominator in the industry. And whatever Marvel thinks will make money, they will they will just shill it out to no end, and they will they will just drain every any ounce of creativity out of anything that they had just to make that much more. I, and I, I really think that's what it is. I mean, to me, there's... You look in the fucking Marvel... Uh, you, you, you look in, in these uh, in these comics and, and you see ads every other page for a Marvel product. Water, like shoes, <laughs> you know? Like anything... They will just license their characters out anything yeah. just to make you know what I'm saying yeah I mean it's really fucking annoying that that they don't have any respect anymore for any other creation like anything to make money I you know I don't know I mean I I, 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 I can see I mean the I balance I, there but I but you're right in, in, the, in the epitome uh, the epitome of just like Marvel raping his characters for money there's not any there's an ad in the new Marvel comics uh, this week, uh, do you have Iron Man? Uh, no, yeah. They're Spider-Man Crocs shoes. <laughs> I, when I saw that, I'm like, it's they beat it. To well, that. Okay. Like that's that's yeah. like the last resort for like licensing. Like you're gonna license your products out to a she fucking fad that should have died before it even began. Yeah. And Spider-Man is gonna be uh, gracing Croc uh, shitty shoes. And well, uh, yeah, that's just that's Marvel right there. Well, well, the Cubs are doing the same thing in the White Sox. Ma- Ma- Major League Baseball, although, um, you know, Crocs. You're right. Why don't they come out with like some really cool stuff? Like Dark Horse is doing the uh, Hellboy Adidas shoes. Have you yeah, seen those? those? Yeah. I mean, they're like they're like raffle. They're, you have to have a contest to win these things, yeah, and those are those are pretty awesome. Oh, they look pretty awesome. I saw those. those you know, cool. why can't they make stuff? Cool stuff, you know. It's like, okay, you want to make friggin' True Believers comic? Okay, then I want some high end, like maybe Echo, you know, uh, uh, Avengers or Bullseye or something. Gym shoes, you know, something really cool for the fanboy. I'd be damned if I show up wearing Spider-Man Crocs to anything, anything. I mean, Crocs are basically for for. Lazy people who don't want to put on real shoes. Uh, it's bad enough you got friggin' kids walking around in their friggin' flannel pajamas these days. Okay, and weren't those things created like so you could walk the dog? Not to go to the freaking mall. I agree. I don't know. Uh, but that's like besides the point. I mean, whoring out Spider-Man for for Crocs gym shoes. For the most or like, Crocs slippers. The, the biggest abortion of fashion. It ever. is. It is bad. I mean, people, come on. I'm sorry, folks. Those of you who wear Crocs are the same people who wore Zubas like 20 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're Zubas now. Exactly. <gasps> I think they're all probably still in the south. Uh, you know, I've actually seen some people. You now go to a Bears game. Yeah. You go to a Bears game. You still have people who have their Zubas uh, striped orange and blue tiger striped. Zuba sweats that they got back in like '84, you know, '85. Or when did Zuba start? Well, football like fans, 90s? American football fans are really a pretty good fashion. So no, that's true. Uh, oh well. Marvel, Joe Casada. Maybe this you don't give a crap about my opinion, but uh, that's what it is. Yeah, it is what it is. It is what it is. It's awful. <laughs> and you know what? I agree. We're going to end this segment on that. We hope to see you in the next.